Yo, what's going on you guys? DeAndre Uchiha back. Uh, I got another video for y'all. I'm doing a power forward build today. So we're making, a, in my opinion, the two top power forward builds in the game. They're kind of similar in a way, but they bring different things to the table. I'm going to go with the best first, what I believe is the best, and then uh, another position that follows up another build that follows up to the first position but not as good in my opinion so I'm gonna show you why I believe that which one is better and which one is it but what we're gonna do is um, I need to select the four and uh, I think that you don't have to have a stretch four in order to be dominant I don't I'm I'm not the I'm not a fan of stretch fours in general I think being able to shoot and only shooting is two different things. I think that you should be Just dominating in the paint we'll first before you start to try to okay, so, uh, shoot threes. But I'm, uh, I don't like people to just sit on a three like. as a stretch. Like that's yeah. not how I grew up watching the game uh, as a as a kid growing up. That's not what I grew up watching. So what we're gonna do? You go to driving and finishing first, and we're doing the rebounding second. So you'll be a rebounder, athletic finisher. This build is OP. You get Lob City Finisher, Posterizer, Putback King, and Relentless Finisher Hall of Fame. Those badges are key for, for a player that wants to destroy in the paint. I, I like to grab rebounds and put them back. You get Teardropper, Pick and Roller, Hustle Rebounder, Bruiser. One Man Fast Breaking Quick Reflexes Gold. Quick Reflexes to help you intercept those passes that they try to throw in the paint. And then you also get a good steal rating on this build, which you'll see in a little bit. But... You get Hustle Rebounder Gold. Not a lot of players got Hustle Rebounder Gold. Like, the only bad, only player that has that shit Hall of Fame is a glass cleaner. So you get it gold. That's another key thing right there. You get that shit gold. And pick and roller gold. That's, that's good. You don't need a Hall of Fame. So, you get Acrobat, Up and Under Specialist, Break Starter, Defensive Stopper, Charge Card, Pick Dodger, Pick Pocket, Key, Pick Pocket, Chase Down Artist, and brick wall and free throw a silver you get fouled you'll make the free throws your free throws will be kind of high you get brick wall silver i wish it could be gold but you you got to take what you can get uh you get difficult shots tyler score and rim protector bronze that's the only problem i have with this build is the fact that your rim protector is bronze but you'll still be a better defender than the one with post scoring in it which you will see later that's the second build but what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next step here. But difficult shots, bronze, that's good. For when it makes you pull up for a mid-range or something, you'll have difficult shots. So, And you also get Tyler score if you're getting tired in the paint, but it shouldn't matter with these stats. So you get a 92 driving dunk, 92 standing, 84, I mean 94 shot close. That's really good. 86 driving layup and a 94 standing. Those are really good. 65 mid-range and a 59-3. So those are decent you'll be able to hit open middies regardless you'll be able to hit corner threes regardless um uh post hook all that stuff is 71 81 box out 81 rebound that is a that's fucking key right there 78 steal that's good 72 block that's good so you're you're getting good stats on this build you get an 88 vertical all of the stuff that you're getting is really fucking good for a power forward build in the fact that you're 6'10", you get a, a 78 speed. Like this is, this build is a power forward, but a small, like a small forward in disguise type thing. It's a small forward, but a power forward in disguise in a way. Or a power forward, but small forward in disguise. Sorry about that. Okay. But your strength is kind of low. As you saw right there, the strength isn't that high. But what we're going to do, I'm going to show you the max weight to be able to have, um, the best out of the weight. So I'm gonna go 6'10". You could be 6'11 and have basically the same stats, but to max out the stats in general, 6'10 is the best height. It's the default height. That's the height that I go with most of the time. Uh, I don't think I need to be super tall. I don't feel like you have to be like super tall to dominate. Uh, but with point guards and shooting guards, I think you should make them a little taller. 
but we're not going into that right now. We're go only going into power forwards this on this video. I'm gonna make a, a point guard, shooting guard, small forward, center build, all that stuff later. I'm making a build video for those. But this build video is, is specified for power forwards. So I'm gonna go with 610. Um, just showing you the stats right here. But uh, you get a 76 strength. That's not good in my opinion. Um, I feel like you need more strength to be able to rebound successfully and be able to bully your way in the paint successfully. Your, your strength has to be a little higher. Okay. And for the most part, a lot of people on this 2K loves to make uh, lighter weight big men. I've seen a lot of big men with the lowest weight possible. Do not do that shit. You will fuck your bill up. I'm telling you, you will fuck it up. So we're going up. In the weight, we're not going down. I don't, I don't fuck with that down shit. So you go up to 259. I think the only builds with lowest weights should be point guards because their speed matters. Your speed doesn't matter as a big man. You don't need to be running up and down the floor as fast as possible. Like you, you shouldn't have to do that. If you got, if you're running with a good team and if you're a good big man, you shouldn't have to be that fast. But you get a 60 speed with ball. It decreases your speed with ball a little bit, but it put it at a 60 flat, and that's where I was trying to keep it at. And then um, you get an 82 box out. Your box out goes up. Your strength goes to an 82. That's that's phenomenal right there. And then you get a, a 70 lateral quickness and a 70 acceleration. So that weight, the 259 weight, is the perfect weight to have the maximum amount of acceleration, the maximum amount of lateral quickness, and the maximum amount of speed with ball mixed with the maximum amount of strength and box out. I kept going through all the weights. I was looking at everything. It took me about an hour. I was, I was just looking at every possible outcome of this build, every possible weight, height, all that stuff, the, the wingspan, everything. I was trying to make like a perfect video for you guys so that you guys could see what I'm talking about. So basically, see if you, if you increase the weight, your speed ball drop and your fucking... Where's the speed of ball at? Uh, a fucking 58. Your speed of ball is a 58. Your strength is an 83. But your lateral quickness go down to a 68. And your your acceleration is a 68. And I, I was just trying to show y'all what y'all could do to get the maximum of that. But if you don't care about having the maximum of acceleration and um, lateral quickness, you can go ahead and fucking max it out. Max out the weight and have a maximum amount of strength. But... In my opinion, I believe that this right here is the best possible outcome for this build. Because if you okay. increase the weight One more, you'll have an 83 box out. But okay, that's, sure thing. You're almost there. to me, this is so the right best yes. weight to Thumbs have up, like this build. I have for this build. Sorry about that. And no matter what you do with a rebound and build, max the wingspan out. I don't. It, that shooting shit does not matter. You'll be able to hit something open. Like. You should only be taking open shots regardless. So, when you max it out, your fucking... Your stats your stats looking good. So, oh, and, and the weight thing also give you a 90 contact dunk. It was an 85. So, I would definitely max that shit out. So, basically, what... You'll be able to grab rebounds better when you got your wingspan max. Uh, your, your shot contest still, all that stuff goes up and you're making yourself a better player in general you'll still go up to an 81 when you um max out your wingspan and your block i believe is a 78 or a sip well we can look at it again your block is oh wait, i was just showing you guys the weight and shit but when your block goes up to a 76 so, no matter how you look at it, you have an 80 still in the 76 block. 77 shot contest. Which is better than lowering the wingspan and not having that. You need to have that, that extra boost on defense to be able to help your team. And as you can see, making your weight that high only decreased your vertical by two. Your vertical was a... Um, 88 uh, on default weight 
and it's an 86. So, no matter how you look at it, this 258 weight, this is the ideal weight for power forwards. I'll try to, uh, I'll make a video for centers to show the ideal weight. I'm not making a center build anytime soon, though, because I'm I haven't made a center. Um, but I made a power forward, and I found the ideal weight for this. So. And it's a lot easier this year than it was last year. Because last year you had to fucking keep making builds and going back out and shit. This year they brought the caps and stuff and put it on here. So props to 2K for that. Even though they still be fucking up. But props to 2K for that. So this build right here, you would, you would just destroy in the paint. You get an offensive rebound, you, you're putting that shit back. It, nobody's stopping you from doing that shit. Once you get an offensive rebound, you're putting that back regardless. Your, your rebounding stats are pretty good. It's higher than most people. It's higher than post scores, stretches, all that stuff. You'll be able to grab rebounds. You can hustle rebound to go to, to fight for those boards with your box out being at an 82. You'll, you'll have a higher box out than most builds. You'll have a higher strength than most builds because everybody makes lower weight big men on this game. And it's been like this for years. Everybody makes lower weight big men. Like... You need to you need to max that weight out or or make it 259 for power fours. So once again, you guys like this build right here is is really fucking good. You get a 71 post hook and post fade. Uh, that shit shouldn't matter if you if you max the fucking. I mean, if you uh, boost it, you get a 76. So you'll be able to still hit them. Um, you'll still be able to hit them regardless because if you're if you got a good post fade, you know your release, you'll be able to hit them. If you and when you raise your wingspan and your your mid range and all that shit drop, that shit doesn't matter. I'm telling you, if you're shooting open shots and you got a good release and you know your release, you'll knock them holes down. I'm telling you. So what we go into is uh is I was showing you, I was about to do the post scoring with driving and finishing second, but that's not the build that I had on 2K18. Uh, it was this one, driving and finish, post scoring athletic finisher. The badges you get, posterizer, pick and roller, and relent, uh, was it relentless finisher, hall of fame. But your stats are pretty much the same. You just got more post scoring at a 77 but your rebound dropped to a 76 and your box out is a 78 you get the same strength but in my opinion and, and your steal and block is lower but in my opinion the other build is way better because being able to rebound better can help you destroy in the paint yeah post riser pick and roller relentless finisher hall of fame all good badges you get live city finisher teardropper put back king up and under specialist those are all gold so those are pretty good badges to have you get one man fast break and quick reflexes gold so you still get the quick reflexes gold to intercept passes difficult shots Tyler score acrobat postman technician difficult shots is the key in there because you get it silver on this build it helps with the post phase um drop stepper hustle rebounder charge car bruiser i don't i like my hustle rebounder on gold that's just me. Free throw, A silver. Mid range, dead eye, pick and popper. Break starter, live city passer. Defensive stopper, pick dodger, pick pocket, and rim protector. All bronze. So, and chase down artist, sorry. And I'm not a fan of that. I like to have, I like to have more defense in my build. With the other build that I showed you, you have silver defensive stopper. Okay, exactly. And with we'll this build, is bronze. Continue. Like Stand on this build, at least you have it. But height. on the other build, okay. you're you're a better defender and rebounder, and in my opinion, better in the paint because you got put back King Hall of Fame. So with this build, I'm still gonna go with the 6'10. Uh, but I'm just showing you the stats of a seven foot because if you if you go with a seven foot post scoring athletic finisher. You'll be taller, so it'll be easier to shoot over people. But in my opinion, and I, I gotta keep saying my opinion because I don't want people to be like, you should just do this. But in my opinion, 6'10 is just the best height. Um, especially for like, 
uh, feel like these power forwards, 16 is the best height to me. Uh, for a center, I believe the best height is 7 flat, but because that, that's the best height you can have to have max um, dunking capabilities in certain categories. Like, I remember okay. I had uh, the drop that was the tallest I could be to have a 60 speed on uh, yeah. a pure yeah, rim protector, so. 60 Next speed with ball, okay. or 65 speed with ball last year. Um, so we're going to go 259 again. I'm just showing you guys. 259, you get the 82 strength. If you had the same strength, your box out, rebound, all that stuff is lower. That's, that's the one thing you're giving up is the ability to rebound better. But you're, this is a better all-around player to me. It's, it's better all around because you get a 77 post hook and all that stuff also with a 76 uh, rebound. But you also got to look at it like this. When you make the build, you're not going to have the caps for all of this shit. So you know, you might not even have the caps to get your rebound that high. Your rebound might max out at a 70 or 71 off rip. With the other build, I believe your rebound max out at a 75 off rip. 75 or a 76. But I destroyed with that build in the pro am, in the park, in the in my my career, and I'm only a 67 on that build. I haven't upgraded it a lot. A, a lot. The rebounding athletic finisher. I destroyed with that build as a 67. I got the contact dunks, all that stuff. The big man contact dunks, I got that stuff. Um, I got enough to get the driving ones, but you got to be a 70 to, to actually buy them. So, um, once again, I'm just showing y'all, in my opinion, okay. these bills are fucking just really good in the okay, paint. Sure thing. You're if there. you want to be able right to destroy here? in yes. the paint, Arms up, please. these are the bills that you should go with. And what I would do is max out the wingspan again, so that because you already hurt your your rebounding from the other, not making the other build and wanting you know a little bit more post scoring, so you already kind of. Uh, took away from your rebounding capabilities, so I would definitely recommend maxing the wingspan out for this one. You'll be able to hit a wide open mid range regardless. You shouldn't be taking contested ones, especially with mid range dead out runs. So, but uh, even if you take contested ones, your your wingspan being higher lets your contested shot is is also higher. So it it kind of helps itself out in a way. But, um, yeah, you guys, this this is the other build that I wanted to, to show you guys. I still don't think that it's better than the rebound and athletic finisher. But if you want those post-scoring badges and you want to be able to do that, that's how you should do it. That's how you should make that player. But, um, for me, I like to be able to rebound. I like having my rebound and badges higher. So... I would definitely keep it rebounding in that build. So I'm just gonna show you the other build is the other build that you could dominate with in this game is a shot creating stretch four. Even though I was saying I don't fuck with stretch fours, this build is good. I've seen too many people destroy with this build. You can light shit up with this build. And it's funny because this is the build that I have as a point guard. I have a shot creating sharpshooter, and I love him. I love that build because of the, the gold badges that I get. If I get to a, a 99 overall, I'll have every shooting badge in the in the game Hall of Fame, including difficult shots. Same thing with this build. But you'll have a little bit more Hall of Fame with this build. Like, this build, you can destroy shit. And if you get it to a 99, you'll be a, a damn near god on this game. And um, that's if you want to be a stretch. So this is okay. this is three exactly. bills, I guess. Done now. Let's but I just threw in an extra bill Stand for you right guys. This is just a bonus bill. But okay. with the um, with the first build I showed y'all, the rebound, the athletic finisher, I would definitely make that bill because that's basically a Drummond mixed with a Blake. You got Blake and Drummond mixed together. 
you can't fucking go wrong with that. And your, your three is good enough to hit open like Blake. So you can't go wrong with that. But with these type of builds, I would definitely make it 16. I will keep it at the def at the default height because expected. when you raise your height, <laughs> you, you decrease your three, you and no, you don't want you don't want to decrease your stats, man. Care? Like uh, not on yeah. this game, you don't yeah, want to decrease so. it when you raise and okay. lower stuff. Once again, with this one, two fifty nine. Um, ideal weight is two fifty nine. But if you go down, if you go down on the, on the, uh, what's the name? I'll show you. Your speed ball is a 60. But if you go down all the way to 200, your speed ball goes up to a 65. So it's just, I mean, it goes up to a 70, sorry. But I would, I would keep it at 259. Okay. One last thing to do. And... The um, you're almost there. Just uh, right here. Yes. Arms up. Wingspan. This this is a little tricky, but with the wingspan, I would I would definitely not go max where you can, but I wouldn't. I would go to eighty six point five, because with the eighty six point five wingspan, you'll have a eighty five three and an eighty one moving shot three so if you got an 81 three i mean 85 three you'll be able to use a boost and the boost to take your three from an 85 to a 90 and then imagine getting your sharpshooter badge that will take it from an 85 and i think they said it's plus 10 so you'll have a uh, uh fuck you have over, it should be a 99, but it'll be over a 99 because they said that your stats could go over the threshold on here. So you have a 103 if you got a boost and you won't fire. So you won't fucking miss. Basically, what I'm telling you with an 86.5 wingspan and you have your sharpshooting badge, you won't fucking miss. And your, your moving shot will be high enough for you to be able to hit those fading shots. And you'll be able to do that, not consistently, if you know your jumper consistently. But if you don't, it won't be super consistent, but it'll be good enough. But um, that's pretty much it for you guys. That's, that's the only bills that I have for you today. Um... I got a lot of videos coming out this week. NBA 2K Playgrounds. I got a couple of um, a, a Call of Duty uh, loadout video. Um, of what I've been going hand with because my KD on there is a 2.54, I believe. But every I, I got a couple videos for you guys. Um, sorry about me fucking up a little bit on here, but that's pretty much it. So, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, you guys. I have more videos and shit for you guys later. All right, peace.